Alright guys, we're going to show you the unboxing of our newest LT3 key controller. We've taken all of your feedback over the years and really implemented it into this design. If you take a look at the bottom of the box, we've got a nice handwritten note from our team here. We've got a user guide that you can scan on the side to show you how to get up and running. We'll open this box up here. You've got your user manual. This is going to show you how to use this and how to connect to our desktop app using this Bluetooth dongle here. Plug this right into your computer. And this is how we're gonna connect our LT3 key controller and keep track of specific data for each individual press. Now below this, we've got all of the connections and fittings. This is gonna be a new component you haven't seen before. This is the pressure transducer. This is how we connect the LT3 to your actual pump so we can see the pressure as it leaves the bag. And this is really gonna help with that endpoint detection. So now we'll get started connecting to this to the press and we'll show you how it all works. All right guys, we're gonna start connecting our LT3 to our press here. Just gonna set this up top, open up our box with all of our fittings. I'll start with these heating elements. Now a lot of people get confused by these blue plugins here. They just push right in. You don't have to twist them or anything. It should just slide right in there. And now I'm gonna take my heating element. I'm gonna place that in. I've got an Allen key here to actually tighten that bolt that's in the back of these plates. I'm gonna make sure that's secure. You wanna make sure those are all the way seated in. Sometimes people don't push them all the way in. And then I'm gonna take my thermocouple here, make sure to place this in there. And we're just gonna hand tighten that. There's no need to actually get a wrench and tighten that down. As long as it's snug, you are good to go. All right, we're gonna take our other heating element and do the exact same process here. All right, now I'm gonna take my pressure transducer here. I'm gonna connect this between my hydraulic pump and the actual cylinder on the press. So I'll spin this around to the backside so you guys can actually see what's going on here. All right, now again, we're just gonna plug this in. Make sure that that's in the bottom port. The top two ports are for temperature control. As you can see, same fittings as your actual cylinder and pump here. So once I put that in place, I'm just gonna tighten that down. Make sure that is nice and snug. All right, so now that we've got the press turned back around, I'm just gonna plug this in. Then we're gonna connect that power and we are ready to rock outside of the low temp app that connects to your LT3. All right, we're gonna show you some of the features on the actual screen here. First thing I do when I'm looking to get started pressing is I set my temperature here. Then I start heating those plates up. I then go into my bag size so I can put the dimensions of my actual bag here. So we'll go with the three by five inch today. Then I hit save. Now I can see the actual bag pressure. If I go over here into my settings, I can either see the pressure at the pump or plate and pressure, which is gonna give me a better idea of how much I'm actually pressing, depending on how much material I've got on the plates. So we've got our settings over here. I can go into my timer settings. I can either count up or count down. I can even set that to an actual bag pressure. So say once it reaches 500 PSI, then it will start that timer. Over here, we've got the ability to create and save recipes. These are some of the recipes we've got saved currently that we can load and then follow that recipe. Or we can go over here into the corner and actually create and name a new recipe for each individual strain that we're gonna be pressing, determined by how much material we're actually looking to press and the dimensions of the bag here. So now that we've gone over some of the basic features of the press, I'm gonna show you how to connect this to our desktop app so we can really track and log that data. 
All right, now that I've got the Bluetooth dongle plugged into my laptop, I'm gonna go over here to the settings screen on the LT3 and make sure that this Bluetooth is turned on. I can change the device name, but currently it's named LT3. This is in case you have multiple units you wanna connect. Now I'm gonna go over here to connect a device. I've pulled up my low temp app. I'm gonna select the LT3 press that I'd like to connect to. And now we're gonna hit the connect button. All right, now that my device is connected, looks like I need to do a firmware update. It says it's gonna be about five minutes. We'll go ahead and get this started, and then I'll take you through some of the features. All right, now we're gonna start increasing the pressure here, so we can show you this pressure curve again. As you can see, we've got some data from our past press here that's graphed for us. Really what we're looking for here is for the pressure to stabilize. This acts as an endpoint detection. So let's say we climb up to a certain PSI and it stays there. More than likely, we've extracted all of the rosin from the bag and our press is then complete. So you can see as I ramp up here, it is building that in real time. Now let's say I stay right there at that pressure and we see this straight line. This is indicating that no more rosin is flowing. So we'll go ahead and end our press here. And now you can see we've got press number one, press number two log. So as I'm working throughout the day, I can go through and see what all I've done here. All right guys, these are just a few of the cool features of the LT3. Thanks to this Bluetooth module, we've got over the air updates. So as we release new features, yours will be updated. We created this to really help you make better decisions as a business or as a home processor. Having access to this data helps you know that you're not leaving money or product on the table and helps you track that specific strain data on each individual strain, each individual employee, each week that you're processing. So use these tools. Let us know in the comments if you guys have feedback or any new features you're looking for on the LT3. Enjoy.